Welcome to the indices, and uh, we're still in wave four. As uh, as boring as it is, uh, it just doesn't seem complete yet. And uh, two things: the thirty eight point two retracement level is at uh, nineteen twenty, roughly wave four of one lesser degree. The move up through here, yes, it is building nicely. Uh, however, it, it has more of a corrective rally uh, structure than an impulse wave. So um, we'll treat it as being uh, corrective unless we can get some nice support further up above, you know, or into the supply area here. But otherwise, um, expect this market to uh, become a bit weaker and and see another uh, move down. And uh, this is the same for the the, D, the Dow Jones, um, the uh, the Dow Transports as well. Um, I mean, the main trend is still up. It's just that we've got to, you know, accommodate and handle this situation here. And it's just, um, it's just, you know, it's just sort of dragging on a little bit. You can see here that um, on the 15 minute chart for the S&P 500 that the moves across here have got overlapping wave structures. It's stretching itself out a little bit here, which is good, but I think that's just part part of the uh, C wave here that, that may not be finished. This little tiny move in here appears to be in three waves, so we can quite easily make a top uh, above the uh, previous high here as well. But, you know, I wouldn't sort of I'd be very careful about chasing that, uh, you know, or trading that to the upside. Yes, it does have a nice base and it's building and all those sort of things, but um, I think it's um, I think it's just part of this C wave here, which is all a bit sort of messy, really. But five waves to here for one, two, three, the fourth wave in here, and some sort of fifth wave to here. I know it's not a good looking uh, picture as such, but just the move up to this point here and then sort of failing from. Uh, from here to get another little five waves down into this 1920 area through here. So look, that's the sort of gist of it. It's it's not a not a clean sort of uh, count to to um, to work off. And the same with the with the Dow Jones here as well on the four hour chart. Um, just treating this here as a corrective rally um, that should stay below the 1618 16,800 here. If that number becomes the support, eight's a profit taking number. So if that becomes support, then that's got meaning to it. I can see on the daily that um, the, the daily, uh, you know, is, is moving into the, well, it's a long way off the oversold area, but it's pulling down quite quickly for for um, for a small move like this here. So it's just not finished, that's that's all, you know. So once it is, then the trend uh, can resume to the, uh, to, to the upside, but um, it's just not there yet. Uh, the DAX is slightly sort of different um, in that, um, it's moved down from the 10,000 here can be counted as uh, corrective. And as we pointed out last um, last time, the little move up through here appears to be in five waves. So I think I've got this on a smaller chart here, yep. So as I mentioned last time, we've got this five wave structure here, an impulse wave. So we knew that because we've got that, after an A and a B and a C correction, pulling back to the 50, 60% retracement level, we'll see a move um, up fr from that point there. Um, so that's on its way. Uh, this move here is a little bit sort of, you know, it's not easy to count, but what we'd look for here next is support on top of the 9,900. Nice solid support on that is your saving grace for a move uh, higher and you'd scale in through 10, 20 and 30. Support found on 30 um, would take you up to the next level to the 50 uh, and so on. But uh, in the bigger picture, this is also a retest of the uh, of the 10,000 as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, it can certainly just end up in three waves, an A and a B and a C wave coming up into here and failing from that point there as well. Uh, as I mentioned before, there's, you know, this is, um, you know, this, there's the swings across the, you know, we've had the arrival to 10,000. As I mentioned before, the swings are just going to get larger and larger. So, um, yeah, that we'll need to, uh, work with that. There's no, no, there's only scalping here. There's no, there's no trend at the moment for, for any of the indices actually. 
The UK uh, FTSE uh, still in wave four and um, looking for a move lower. It might not make it all the way down to 6,700, but 6,720 is something that I was looking at. And while the market is under 6,800 here, then treat this market as negative. And also moving in on that, we've got group two here, which is 65, 72 and 80. And this is where we're seeing wave four rally come through here. So we would only look at this market being positive and long if we've got support back on the 6,800. Otherwise, uh, this market will edge lower. Uh, the waves beginning, middle and end to a trend. And you can see this is you know gaining support here, slowing down after this move here and could possibly retest the 6,800. But as I mentioned, we won't go long on that until we've got that. Okay, with the ASX 200, this is just the cash market here on the daily chart. And we were looking at um, uh, this, these lows, this low here was support. And um, excuse me for all this technical problems, but um, the 53.72 here was, was important uh, as, as such. And uh, the market stayed ab above that. It really, I suppose it doesn't really matter that much, but it has offered support. And we were looking at this in three waves, an A wave. This this move here, you know, is in three waves. So we figured that anything that happens beyond this would be corrective. And at some point we'll see the market push up. So we were counting this as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave. And of course, a C wave has five waves in it. So we're looking at this down for one here, back for two here, down for three back for four and down for five here. Now, this may not be finished because in this fifth wave here, there will also be a five wave structure here as well. So it may not be finished just yet. Um, the cash market at the moment is 54.12. The, um, the CFD is below that at 54.6. So Tuesday we'll see you know a bit of softness on, on the opening um, and then those two catching up. But the, que the reason I'm showing this for is, is just the volume. Now, off this old low here, we've had a nice you know volume push here, as you can see, but we haven't had the follow through volume in this move up here. Yes, the market has moved up and it's closed higher, but we don't have more volume than the previous bar. So it's divergence and that's a sign of weakness. So today, if this market ends up higher here, and on lower volume here, then you know that there's further weakness in there. It can close lower to be strong. It can close lower today, can open higher, close lower and be on lower volume. And then we'll know that that's also a bullish sign because the sellers are drying up. So the, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working through the low here in terms of volume and price action. Currently, the price action on the 20 minute intraday here, the move up through here is in three waves. Uh, so we've got an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. So the market can quite easily just sort of roll over from this point here. So um, yeah, it's just something to watch. There's, n there's no good trade setups here at the moment. If the 5430, the top of group one here found support, then that would offer, you know, some strength to, to, to the upside. So we're really waiting for the, the daily chart to be sort of a little bit more oversold and the weekly chart to be a bit more oversold as well for any sort of good strong buying signals to come in. And we also want the Dow Transports and the S&P 500, we want them in, in place as well. And probably more so too is the FTSE because the FTSE's relationship with this market is, um, uh, is, is quite strong. And we can see from the FTSE that we've got one more leg to go down as well. So just be a little bit careful at this low here. We just don't have anything sort of in place. And if anything is going to be leading us out of this, it's going to be the banks. Um, so their wave counts are quite positive to the upside. Uh, the material sector, as, as I pointed out last time, are, are, are weighing quite heavy. Uh, so any sort of rally in those will be short lived as well, as, as I explained as well. So um, yes, another we've got this week to to uh, help sort out our lows and get established in, in the next trend uh, to the upside. So uh, yeah, just uh, 
um, yeah, just wait, I guess, until we've got confirmation of a, of a move up. You know, we, this is not five waves moving up. It could develop into five waves in terms of, you know, up for one and back for two, then up for one and back for two again, and then further up. But it doesn't appear to be that way just yet. So we'll just keep this labelled as the third wave and the fourth wave and the fifth wave to, to, uh, to give us another low through here. Alrighty, thank you for listening.